Hi, Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show. Hi, everybody. Come on in. Welcome, welcome, you guys, for another episode of our Tuesday Tunes and Arts. Um, we're going to let the audience kind of come in and get comfortable and let us know when you guys are here. Say something to us in the comments. Uh, we have kind of a fun show, a show, episode, whatever you want to call it uh, today, um, and a, a really fun uh, special guest to join us today. So we're, we're really happy that you guys are here. As you come on, say hi to me in the comments. I hate to feel like I'm in here talking by myself. Um, the looks that my dog gives me is, is I wish I could just video him because he thinks I'm nuts. So come in. Um, also share and like uh, these videos. It helps us spread the word uh, throughout Longmont in the Facebook world about what it is that we're doing for these businesses. Um, so if you could do that, that would be great. Share and, and say hi. Hi, Karen. Hi, Mike. Um, glad to have you guys on here. So we are well, well, we're on our way into the third week of um, our Longmont is open for business. Um, these are our daily Facebook lives that we're doing at 4 p.m. every day. And we're going to continue to do them until uh, we don't need to do them anymore. But uh, for right now, we're just going to keep the fun rolling. And as long as you guys are having fun watching it, we're having fun putting them together for you guys. Um, if you want to see a list of the businesses that we are highlighting um, each day, we have a uh, category, uh, like a themed list um, over on the um, our chamber website. Sorry, just completely did a brain fart. Uh, and you can reach that list at www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. Uh, so go check out all of the businesses that are open in, in some way or another uh, and that we're helping them through this. So my name is Jessica Wanasek. I am the event director. Apparently, I had a problem with that yesterday uh, over at the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. Um, and like I said, today is Tuesday Tunes and Arts, where we highlight um, all these fun businesses who are doing some sort of, um, you know, it's the arts or the music scene. Longmont has a really strong um, arts scene. So we wanted to kind of highlight the businesses um, in, in Longmont that are kind of fall into that category. So uh, today I would like to bring on our special guest. Um, you might know him. Um, his name is Justin Veach and he is the manager of the Stewart Auditorium over at the Longmont Museum. Hi, Justin. Good afternoon. Thanks for having <laughs> me and the museum on. A lovely Tuesday. A lovely Tuesday it is, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I wish the sun was out, but I, I kind of like a, a good rainy kind of cloudy day. I get more done. It, it's weird. I'm I'm kind of the opposite of what everybody likes. But you know, I'm perched right here. I'm looking out the window. I've got my computer set up in front of me and then the window behind it. And uh, it looks good out there to me. Nice. I feel like we should. Justin, give us the forecast of what it looks like out your window today. <laughs> well, the, the kids have built a little ramp. And uh, they're they're doing jumps on their BMX bikes oh, here Lord. in the cul-de-sac, <laughs> Longmont, and it's uh, cloudy and kind of blue. 
Nice, nice. Very similar over here in, in Firestone. Justin, thank you for okay. that weather forecast. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> um, so Justin, you are the manager of the Stewart Auditorium over at the Longmont Museum. I do have the pleasure and the honor of, of managing that venue for the museum in the city of Longmont. It's a beautiful facility. Um, I actually snuck over there. We were supposed to have um, one of our chamber events uh, towards the end of March over there, but things the world happens. And um, so I was able to kind of get over there and, and check out the auditorium and it's a beautiful site. Thank you. It's about to celebrate its fifth year in existence, the auditorium that is. Nice. It was, uh, it was unveiled five years ago this summer. Very cool. Well, that kind of leads me into my next question. We like to let the audience know a little bit about um, the museum and stuff. Can you tell the audience how long the museum has actually been open? Well, the museum has been around since the 30s. I think we've uh, we've celebrated our 84th year, I think, uh, in, 19, in uh, 2020. Um, started off as uh, kind of a you know, small kind of mom and pop community run uh, history museum, local history museum. Um, oh, cool. It was a storefront basically just filled with a whole bunch of old stuff. Was it in the same location that it is in now or was it on a different uh, different site? No, it's been in various locations over the years. Um, the uh, the current building was built, I believe, in 2003, I believe. Um, it was uh, at one point the uh, museum was housed, or the museum's collection at least, was housed in what's the Cheesecake Factory now. Um, so we have a special connection to that place. And then it was, it was, I think, across from the Civic Center at one point. It's bounced around a good bit. I think it was actually originally in the carriage house of the uh, uh, of the uh, Callahan house. On oh, Thursday. very cool. Okay. Cool. So it's kind of had a bunch of different uh, locations, which is pretty cool. I'm going to bring up that. Let's there see if I is. can. Right. Let's see. I know. Hang on, Justin. <laughs> yeah. Right there. <laughs> um, cool. So, and the museum or the auditorium you said is about five years old, right? That's right. 250 seats. Uh, I like to describe it as a multidisciplinary performing arts venue. So kind of designed, it's actually probably uh, most, uh, I mean, I, it's really designed as a, a kind of uh, acoustic concert venue or a recital hall. Uh -huh. um, I've worked to kind of really expand our offerings to kind of reflect the museum's uh, mission, which is pretty broad. It is. It's very cool. I love it over there. I think it's pretty Thank cool. You. Um, so the other questions that I like to ask is, um, let's see, where are you located? We're at 400 Quail Road, just east of 287, just east of Main Street. Uh, if you know where the rec center is, uh, we're in that same kind of complex. We share a parking lot with them. Very cool. We just like to, you know, most people do know where it is, but, you know, I like to share that just in yeah, case, yeah. right? Um, so, okay, like I said, the, the world happened. And um, can you share what the museum is actually doing um, during this time, these these crazy days that we're having? Well, definitely a little crazy. I mean, we went from being, uh, you know, we, we the spring is our busiest time of year. February, yeah. March, April is just completely slammed. So we went from going, you know, roughly a million miles an hour um, to a dead stop. So that was interesting. Right. Uh, we had lots of great programming planned. A lot of it had to be canceled, of course. Um, but we've, you know, we've rebounded. And, you know, what something we launched last fall was our Thursday nights at the museum series, which is, uh, so every Thursday night we would be open late and we would offer a film or a talk or a concert. And then early in the evening, we would offer uh, art and sip classes through our education department. So Thursdays were a big night for us. Oh, very cool. So we've carried on that, carried on with that programming on Thursday nights. Uh, every other week, we switch off between uh, our education department's popular art and sip program. Um, that's where you know normally you would come to the museum and paint or learn how to do some kind of art project um, and drink at the same time. <laughs> drink at the museum. Um, I love it. So now you can make art and uh, drink in the privacy of your own home. Um, every other Thursday. And then on those other Thursdays, I present a talk. Uh, I'll do like a little interview or a conversation with someone. For instance, uh, 
I've done two conversations with our curator of history, Eric Mason, who has uh, actually just finished a book uh, on the history of Longmont. He's writing the book cool. for the 150th anniversary of the city, which is, uh, and that book should be available right around Christmas time. So I was just going to ask where would people, because I know people are going to ask, um, would, do they buy that through the museum or like Amazon or something? They'll be able to buy it directly through the museum. Very cool. Uh, probably other places as well. Nice. Um, so that's exciting. So he, uh, we, we, our first program I did with him was kind of, you know, on an overview of the book um, and his background as our curator of history. Eric's been with us for 24 years. So that's rather astounding. Yeah. yeah. He's not, he's not an old man either. So <laughs> he started when he was 12. I think so. 13. Right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. um, and then we did a pro I did another program with him. You know, part of that book covered the 1918 pandemic flu here in Longmont. So we did a really interesting conversation last Thursday, last week on his uh, research into that period, um, how Longmont responded to that flu pandemic. Um, and kind of the parallels and lessons learned and that sort of thing. Yeah. Surprisingly similar, uh, really, you know? It's crazy. And then we had a program. We also did a program. Oh, I did a special tour, home tour, home and studio tour of uh, Terry with Terry Maker, who is uh, who's the artist we're for, uh, currently featuring in our temporary gallery. Very cool. And I actually am going to bring up, um, I so wanted to include the 360. Let's see if I can show this here. It's kind of small, but um, I wanted to upload the 360 virtual tour, which is a really, really cool thing. And if um, for the audience that's watching, uh, if you go over to the museum uh, website, you can just click on the little link and it, it's cool. It walks you all the way through from the beginning to end of the Terry Maker uh, exhibit, right? The, because the world is round exhibit. That's right. And you can kind of, uh, I mean, you can just kind of let the video play or you can really interact with it if you want and kind of uh, explore the exhibition, which is pretty cool. It does not beat being there in, in the flesh right. in real life, but it's a, uh, it's pretty great. And um, I, I'm just thrilled by that exhibition. I think Terry, Terry's work is really fantastic. And if you really love the work, if you spend some time in that 360 tour and you want to learn a little bit more, we do have a uh, an archive of the video I did with her, uh, the tour of her home and her art studio a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh, very cool. Fun. Very cool. So this big, that big round ball, um, can you want to tell everybody what that's made out of? I thought that was pretty cool. That is made completely of cowboy hats or cowgirl hats. Um, <laughs> they're inverted. Uh, so it's um, our ex our curator of exhibitions, um, Jared, uh, constructed this framework, and uh, Terry uh, just put cowboy inverted cowboy hats uh, all over it. So it, it's really it almost looks like one of those uh, batting cage balls or something. Yeah, right, like a wiffle ball or something. Kind it's of, really kind of cool. Kind of, it's, it's immense cool. too, and the inside of it is really. Oh, I bet that would be kind of cool to see on the inside, right? Yeah. We have put it um, in our comments. So for the audience who's watching, if you guys want to check out, we put the link to the 360 virtual tour uh, in the comments. So go check that out because that's it's really pretty cool. Um, and that's okay. extended. That was uh, supposed to close. That exhibition was supposed to close, I think, right around now um, or in the next week or two. And it's been extended into September. So when we oh, do wow. open which we hope will be in the not too distant future, um, you'll be able to see that in person this summer. Very cool. I know I want to get over there. Um, when I was there, I kind of played around in the atrium and, and checked out the auditorium, but um, I do want to get over into the museum, see some of the exhibits, because I have been kind of poking around on your website. And it's pretty cool. I, I like the stuff over there. We have quite a few um, 360 virtual exhibition tours up on our website. Uh, you can see Terry's show, but you can also see our permanent exhibition, which is called Front Range Rising, which is a history of Longmont and the Front Range. Um, we all, we have our World War One exhibition up on there. Very cool. Uh, kids exhibition, Tree Houses, uh, Ansel Adams, uh, our last exhibition, Ruckus Rodeo, um, bunch of stuff, bunch of content. If you want to check out our la our previous exhibitions, we also have our historic photo collection. Um, 
And we continue to offer our popular Discovery Days programming for kids, which is not a live thing, um, but kids can kids and their parents can tune into our Discovery Days uh, programming. Oh, cool, very cool. That is uh, it's really cool. And um, I the historic pictures that you were just talking about that's um, one of my loves. I like to to look and see you know where we came from and what we look like now is is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just reading some of the comments here. Um, let's see, Kathy Stevens, Longmont Museum, especially with my grandkids, lots of interactive stuff. So she loves that. Um, Lenore Knox says the 360 tours are the best. So that's, oh. that's pretty cool. Glad um, you like it, Lenore. Heck yeah. So as you guys are coming in, um, Justin is just sharing a little bit about uh, the Longmont Museum. So make sure that you're saying hi in the, in the comments or if you have questions for Justin and the museum, um, throw those in the comments as well, and we'll try and get through um, some of those. Uh, you guys, one of you lucky viewers who who comments something today is going to win not one, but two really cool prizes today. So uh, you're going to have to hang in there towards the end of the stream. There's going to be a little bit of a quiz. And so some one of you guys is going to be really lucky. Um, let's see. Lenore also says, Discovery Days uh, saved me when the kids were little. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Kim, Kim Berger says, hi. Hi, Kim. Good to see you guys. Okay. So as you guys are coming in and you're commenting, um, Justin, every day on, on these daily Facebook live videos, we've been giving away a prize. And um, earlier I introduced you and I actually said it two times. So hopefully the, the audience was listening. Um, but okay, so I'm gonna throw it out to, to the audience and then uh, Justin, you're gonna help me watch the comments to see who comes in first with the correct answer, okay? And that person who comes in with the correct answer is gonna be our big winner for today's prize, okay? Oh okay. All right, All right. so audience, those of you guys who are paying attention and um, have commented, here is your question. What is the name of the auditorium over at the Longmont Museum? Ready, set, go. First one who puts it in the comments will win today's prize. I feel like we need to have like, I need to get like a drum roll. You know, they have those sound, sound yeah. effects machines. Yeah, and, you need a sound effects machine. Right? It's like little bells and, and whistles and things. So Justin, while they're thinking, is there anything else um, that you feel like the audience needs to know that we haven't covered about the museum? Oh, we, we barely even scratched the surface. Right? Yet. Okay, so this uh, this Thursday, we'll be doing one of our art, art and sips. Um, a week from Thursday, we will be doing a, we will be offering a special concert uh, with, with a really great musician from Santa Barbara named Pete Muller. Um, some of you may have experienced his concert with us last fall. He actually kicked off our fall programming last year. But he's a, a really interesting guy. He was a he was a big hedge, really successful hedge fund guy who was uh, had this deep love for music. And he's a, he's a surfer. He's a crossword puzzle master. He writes crossword puzzles oh, for time sometimes. He's a surfer. And he's really a musician. And he's also a philanthropist. And he supports uh, emerging young and emerging musicians and venues that support them. So he's doing a special live streaming concert from his compound in Santa Barbara, just for the Longmont Museum. That's a mm. week from this Thursday, uh, May 21st. He'll be doing a live concert at 4 p.m. and then we'll be rebroadcasting at 7.30 on our Facebook page. And he, we're doing a little fundraiser with that and he's gonna match every dollar we bring in to the museum. So Very cool. <laughs> it's going to be cool, live from Santa Barbara. Um, yeah. And then uh, we, our summer concert series is also going to be going online. We're going to be streaming that. We're moving forward with that. We've got Hazel Miller uh, coming. We've got- uh, Love Hazel Miller. It's going to kick things off for us. And then we've got the Thelonious Smith Trio on June 25th. Bonnie and the Clydes will be coming back on July 2nd. They're awesome. Uh, fan favorites, the 101st Army Dixieland Band on July 9th, the Delta Sonics, <laughs> Megan Burt, Kamondo, all kinds of Holy cow. folks are going to be uh, joining. So they can find, can they, um, can the audience find these uh, concert dates on your website? That, that's going to be, they're going to be posted there shortly. 
I am cracking up at some of the comments. So um, Sherry Ingalls Legrand um, is trying so hard. She's she's close. She's got another name of an auditorium in Longbot, but not quite the one that we're looking for. So we're looking for the name of the auditorium over at the Longmont Museum. So I don't know. I, I said it, well, maybe two or three times even when I introduced you, Justin. You did. All right. You did. It's, um, if it helps, it's how many? Let's see. Well, it's, it's oh, one. I got it. There he's got it. There got it. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The answer is the Stewart Auditorium. Congrats, Sherry. You worked really hard for that one and you got it. So Justin, do you want to let uh, Sherry know what she won today? Well, Sherry, let me tell you, you've won <laughs> a pair of passes to the Longmont Museum. Of course, you won't be able to use those until we reopen. Um, but when we do, uh, you and a guest will be able to enjoy our exhibitions. That's um, awesome that, that you're donating uh, not one, but a pair of uh, museum passes. So that is pretty cool. Congrats, Sherry. You worked hard for that one. Um, will you email me uh, and you can reach me at J Wanasek, it's W A N E C E K at longmontchamber.org. And I will get you in touch with Justin and we'll get those passes over to you. So that's that's pretty cool. Way to go, audience. And hi, Teresa. Nice to see you guys. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sherry. Um, okay. So, Justin, it has been a lot of fun having you on with me today. I, um, I love the museum and I can't wait until the doors open and we're able to get uh, over there, um, you know, to see you guys in person. Like I said, I'm missing my people. This is, this is my way of seeing um, faces and, and really happy that you were able to come on with me oh, today. Absolute pleasure. Anytime. Right? Anytime. You could be my 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 partner in crime. I'll be your Ed McMahon. <laughs> oh, right? I know. I feel like I need to have or your you know, Vanna. Or I'll be your Vanna. All right. Some sort of yeah, game show or something that's happening over here. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, at this we're gonna let you go, Justin. You enjoy the rest of your day and um you know, we'll we'll send some some people your way. Hopefully they can go check out the three sixty um tours. Sorry, that's I keep cool. like I feel like it's a Monday today. My brain is just not catching up with me. <laughs> um, keep up the great work, Longmont Chamber. Museum loves you guys. Thank you so much. And we love you guys too. And um, have a good rest of your day. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> I love Justin and the whole crew over at the Longmont Museum. Um, they're a lot of fun. And I'm relatively new to this event director position. And so um, just in this short time um, that I started in February, I feel like I've made some really lifelong connections and, and friends. So um, thank you to Justin and the crew over at the Longmont Museum, especially for donating um, the pair of um, passes too, which is really cool for some for Sherry, you lucky winner. Um, so uh, we have some fun, fun stuff lined up for the rest of the week. And you guys want to check in um, tomorrow for Wednesday We Shop. Come back here at 4 p.m. Um, you're going to see me come out of my comfort zone just a little bit. Um, it, it should be quite comical. <laughs> um, but I have another exciting guest uh, who's who's ready to come on for Wednesday. We shop and then Thursday and Friday. We have some other great businesses lined up. So, um, again, help us spread the word about these these live videos. It helps us support the businesses who are working so hard for everybody out there uh, in the Longmont community. So come back here four o'clock tomorrow. In the meantime, be well and know that you guys are doing an amazing job out there and we'll see you soon. Bye.